Does anybody have any questions? Uh, Lori, you have to unmute yourself, please. Okay. Just one second. I have a question. Uh, um, basically, the rules of Shabbat, it, it, that's my hardest thing. Um, <clears throat> I, I know that at the beginning, it's, it's what is it? One's, it's silent one place and it's not silent the other place. Right. Um, okay, so I thought I had sent a sheet. I can certainly send it again. I, th I think I have it here. Anyway, at the beginning of a word or the beginning of a syllable, it's like the I and it. Right. Okay. And <laughs> at the end of a syllable or the end of a word, it's totally silent. It, gets, it allows you to put two consonant <laughs> sounds together. Otherwise, you couldn't. Can you because tell every me where you're referring, Lori? Like, what are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> but my question is, you don't always know what the syllable is, so you're kind of guessing, right? Because you're not sure if that's should it be the end or the beginning. Um, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. In some cases, yes, but for the most part, um, when it comes in the so, for example. Maybe you could, can you see that? So this word here. The Laha, first, Laha, go ahead. The first shvaz at the beginning of the word. So you would pronounce it like the I in it, li. Li had lik. But, right. But li, that, um, li ha, okay. But let's say, well, you know, because there's a vowel under the, the lamed. Is that how you know for sure? Yeah, I mean, well, be, well, that that vowel is the little. It'd be hard. Shah. Right, it'd be hard to say lahadl and have that end the syllable. Right. right, but sometimes it's not so. I just wondered if I'm the only one guessing sometimes because sometimes it's not so obvious. Um, you're not the only one guessing. <laughs> okay. It it should be. It should be obvious. I can. See, do you recall getting the sheet, which I'm pretty sure I had sent? Yes, I'm because, sure. Because that. That does have it um, and should be, is a good, I, I made it as a reference. Again, a lot of these things that I send or I do is to be, try. I'm trying to be helpful. If it isn't helpful, you can, you know, you can throw it away. You can you hold it up one more time, please? Sure. Go, I, can res I can resend it. It says on the top, Shva. Okay. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Let's see. I'd like to try to. Um, write down everyone's name who's here so I know. I didn't last time, but that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got Nancy, uh, Lori, Maureen, Eileen, Andrea, Harriet, Janie, and Gail. Okay. Okay, so um, thank you all for agreeing to meet this afternoon. Um, Friday, we will meet as our regular time of 1.15. We are officially starting semester two and it's advanced beginner. And, and those of us who are teaching this beginner reading class had had a meeting about a month ago and, and agreed as to what we would start semester two with. And we need to finish the letters so that we can be with everybody else. So, because the point is everybody's going to be doing the same thing at approximately the same time. And there will be other people joining us as well. Um, I, I don't recall how many, but um, it's, it could be as many as eight more people. I, I have the list somewhere. I have to find it. Um, what are we going to start with in some, the second semester? We're gonna start with some of uh, with the, everything around uh, Friday night services and Shabbat services. So it, it is focused on the Siddur and the prayer book and participating in services. It, would, it will include things like the blessing over the candles, the Kiddush or Kiddush in Hebrew. Kiddush is kind of a Americanized way of saying Kiddush. The blessing over the wine, some of the liturgy. You'll all be, it'll be great. Okay, are there any other questions? We won't be using this book. 
We will continue to use this book or or a C door. Okay. So to the extent that there's there the material is in this book, we can use it. To the extent that it might be um I don't want to say better, but it might be nice to use a C door. Yeah. If you have one, that would be nice. One of the reasons to use a C door would be let's say we learn how to read something like Ain Kelohenu, which is the end of the Shabbat morning service, as an example. It would be nice to see it the way it's laid out in your particular in the C door you use in your particular synagogue. Now, I get it. Uh, you're not going to synagogue right now. You may not have a C door. Um, but so we'll figure it out. At, at a minimum, or I can also I can photo it and send it for my C door. My synagogue uses Sidor Sim Shalom, um, which is uh, from, I don't know, it's at least 20 years old. I've had it for a long time. My particular Sidor, I can photo the page, if that's helpful. Yes, Eileen. Uh, the rabbinic assembly, you could, I don't know if you, they're still doing it, but you can download. I've downloaded the Sim Shalom and the Lev Shalom. Yep. Yeah. You can yes. download it. Yeah, and it's no charge. They're just doing it because of the pandemic. Right. Yeah. Yes. I, oh, I have the, the blue one, that, one too. I got a lot of them. Maureen, I have the one that we call the complete Sim Shalom. That's the one in your left hand. I think the one in your right hand was the uh, for Shabbat and festivals. They call that, we call that the slim, we call that slim Shalom. We I use the Shabbat and festivals. Yeah, that's slim. I use this one. The one, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Wait, so we look at, are we talking about this one? That's the okay. daily one. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the daily. Yeah, I have that as well. You know, Arisha let us come pick up um, uh, books because when yeah. they shut down, so there might be something to do from get from your show. Maybe you if can, but you, like Eileen said, you can just go online. I have this one and the other one. Right, and what's the one and this one? So I'm not getting you. Know. Right, was that the Lave Shalane? Yeah, yeah. Carol, so. will we be finished with the alphabet today, or are we still going to be learning some more later? Nope, I want to finish with the alphabet today. So let's get cracking. If nobody has any questions, I want to finish the alphabet. Um, my recollection is that we stopped with the letter that sounds like a Z, as in zoo. And, and please make sure you say Z as in zoo. Okay, that was page 60. Uh, that was page 40. Let me see 44. Okay, so now I want to go to page 46 and to teach you a letter that also has the sound of a T. Now, this will be the second T sounding letter that we're learning, but that's okay. <coughs> what I want. And, well, it's really the third. Uh, the third? Well, is How's it? it Oh, because there's a T and a T, one with a dot, one without a dot. Yes, you're right. I think of those as the same. I'm sorry. Okay, so. The one that you took out of the washing machine. Put in the dryer. <laughs> I got confused here for a second. Oh, that doesn't <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to mute. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> I have an older one. I have Likrat Shabbat, too. Ah, that one I don't have. And I also have an art scroll. Yeah. I have an art scroll as well, but uh, I'm not going to be using that. That's really confusing. And I have the Lev Shalom and, and the... Uh, Sim Shalom. And Lev Sh Shalom, yeah. And I can't yep. get the one that Beth Israel uses. Oh, well. Anyway. Which one is it, Nancy? I don't know. It's outrageously expensive. Is it this one? No. Uh, could be. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay ladies, yes. attention. All right, this letter is also a T. It has, you can think of it as having a tear on top. It's torn on the top. Okay. That's a t also a T. So let's take a look at page number 46. And who's up for reading? Um, Gail. Okay. How about line two? Okay. Te, terem, 
um, Biterem uh, Kal. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Remember, that's the special. Always, always, always call. Call. All oh, right, 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 right. Call. Long -o. Call. 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 It's like call Nidre, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, you seem, you, it's here. Um, you, it's here, and then yep. Niv, Niv, Ra. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Um, uh, Laurie, question. Okay. Very briefly. That's my question. The third word, biterem. Yep. Okay, so how do you know it's biterem and not biter biterem or biter bit oh, B -I -D. bit the bit with it whatever it's called together how do you because, know because the bit isn't the at the beginning of the word it's no, always no. B. i know it's if but how do you know it's not connected to the t instead of just being bit it's not bit is it obvious because the t has its it has um a vowel has a vowel and okay. And the two has a vowel. Yeah, I mean, it's a way more complicated answer than that. Um, because Hebrew is efficient and there are prefixes and suffixes. And the bit in this case is a prefix. So so the word is terem, and this okay. is bit terem. So it's always, if all, I know it's always it at the beginning, but it's always by it's itself with a pause at the beginning also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I think that's a good rule of thumb. And that okay. would be true like 99% of the time. I'll if go not with that. more. If not okay. more. Janie, you have a question? No, I was just going to say, I know I told you I didn't want to read today, but I, ha I, I will. Oh, okay. So let me see. Thank you. So Gail uh, read already. Did I call on somebody already? No. Okay. Okay. So Janie, why don't you do number line three, please? Line three. So that's what that's a T. Yes. T me Shabim. Okay. So that's let's break me. that down. Yeah. So first of all, it's Mish. Oh, because oh. that's the in the middle of a word, the sh the the shva, the two dots are silent. So it's Mish. Mish. Yeah. Mishpa. Mish. Mishpa team. Yes. Mishpa. Excellent. Thank you. Torah. Umitzot. Umitzot. Nope. Okay. That's the exception. So. Okay. You, since you have a vowel under the t sound. The next thing has to be a letter. Umit. So umit. Oat. Mm -mm. Oh. O is a vowel. How would you make that into a letter? Let me go oh, get my oh. sheet. Umit. Umit. Yes. Yes. Umit. Oat. Yep. What is that letter? Okay, that we learned that last time. It's the ha, like in chawa. Um, okay. Somebody said it. Wait a minute. Give me a second. <laughs> what is that? A K? Yep. Okay. Hukim. Hukim. Yes. Hukim. And the little indention under in the little indented line, please. Oh, okay. So that's also a, a vov. No, so that one. Okay, that's oh, part okay. of the the exception. Umish. It's, yeah. Umish. Fa. There's a. Fa almost there's a there's a dot in that p. There's a dot in oh. So it makes it a P, not an F. P. Yeah, those are the two letters I'm very stuck on right now. Okay. Umish. Pav team. Umish pa team. Yep. Umish pa team. 
O Tanu. Mm -hmm. Lima. Lima Tita. Okay, so it's better to say Limad Ta. Uh, Limad Ta. Limad Ta. Limad Ta. Um, I think people, that one almost could go either way, Limadita. Um, that's one of those, to Lori's question from before, that's one of those that you almost don't know. The problem is if you go Limad Ta and you do it fast, Limadita, you, you almost have to say like a little I, otherwise you don't get the, oh. you don't. Um, so it, it almost goes against the rule, but it's so that it sounds good, if you will. Right. That was a lousy English sentence, but that's beside the point. Uh, Maureen. <laughs> uh, the line, the end of line three, but the, the first line, not the second line, the last Yes. Line, is that a, a guttural first line? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Where okay. are you? The last, the last word on the first half of line three. That's the who Kim. Okay, so line four. Question. Uh, question first, yes. Yeah, okay, so on line three, the U meets vote, okay. Yep. That, so that was the vote. And then on, below it, where it's, um, it's o, Otanu, Right. That's because that's a silent in front of it and not a consonant? No. Um, here's the situation. I'm going to show you these two words. All right. So the top one is so. meets vote. And the second one underneath it is matzot. Matzot. Right. Okay. Every Hebrew letter must have a vowel associated with it. And you can't have two vowels following one upon the other. So in the top case, we have the me, a letter and a vowel. We have the tz, letter, vowel. That means this has to be a letter. G. The V. Okay. In this example, we have the the letter and the vowel, and then we have this baby, and there's no letter, no vowel underneath no. it. Mm. No, no. That's why this it's one no. becomes it's a vowel. A... Okay. Okay. That's the rule of thumb. That's how you know. Okay. Say again, you said every Hebrew letter needs a vowel, but what was the second part of that? And the okay, so the vowel is you typically underneath it, but it could be alongside it right so in this case you don't see a vowel underneath so you look adjacent and say oh okay this baby has to be an o it has to be a vowel a just a straight plain o not vo even though it's a silent letter in front of it no this isn't silent that's a tss. oh that's a oh, i was looking at the what i'm looking at is the one below the the, the second one in that Line below three, the o tanu, o, o, o tanu. Yeah, that, well, no, the, so the o tanu, o, there's a letter in, the letter is the aleph, the silent, the silent right. letter. There's no vowel underneath it, so you look alongside it. You've got a okay. vowel, you have a letter and a vowel. Oh, so o it's the same, it's the same thing. It's even the though same it's rule, it's, yeah. Hold it up again, please, and just say those two words. Certainly. Okay, the top one is meets, vote. The second one is ma, sot. So, like you said, if there's no vowel before it, the next one is a vowel. Right. Sounds like a vowel. Okay. Yep, has to be. I, I am so glad you guys, like, are seem as confused as me. <laughs> it's comforting. Because I, I, I. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, these are rules. We're not, we don't, they're not intuitive. Correct. This is a new language. It may not all be intuitive. Um, and it, you know, it takes time. It does take time. 
Okay, so we were on, let me see, two, three. Okay, so Harriet, line four. Okay, can I ask you a question first, not about the Hebrew, just about? Sure. Um, you know, I'm still having so much trouble with this. Do mm -hmm. you think uh, it's okay for me to go on to the second semester or should I wait until they do beginners again? I think you should go on to the second semester. Give it a try. And as I've said before, and I'll say it again, I'm happy to work with anybody, um, you know, over the phone or somebody, I know Maureen knows how to get Zoom links. I suppose I could if I looked it up. I mean, I don't think it's that complicated, I'm sure. <laughs> set one up, I could set one up for you. It may be only a half an hour. I think I have. I, I've, I, I, have a, I have the whole time. I paid for yeah. mine. I just so, need you to hold those two letters up one more second while you're while you're answering. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I just want to copy them down. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Let me go. There we go. So I'm happy to work with anybody. Seriously. Uh, you know, there are some days that I have more Zoom things happening, and there are other days when I have no Zoom things happening. And yeah. we could work on. Uh, so I'm happy to go over it with you, Harriet, if you would like. I would like. The only thing is, is like I have so many zoom things yeah we'll try to find it won't be this week that's for sure yeah it's fine you know it's the kind of look when we start on friday we're going to start with a review now the people who join us on friday some of whom it may have said oh yes i'm an advanced beginner and we and we get here and the person might say what are you talking about and you know they may have overstated it what they know or remember from when they were a child or whatever. Well, so. <laughs> so, and you know, if there are some people that are more advanced, well, we will just ask for their indulgence as we go over things a little more slowly. I think that it's important to uh, learn the material, not to necessarily complete oh, shit four pages in a, in a session. I don't, I think our objective, we're adults. Our objective is to learn, not to meet a, a curriculum or, or a goal. I, I could, Thank, you. The other, Thank you for that, Carol. Thank you're you. welcome. The other thing is, I think if we were in person, it would be a little bit different, you know, because I've taught in person before and, and I have people read together. I have people reading individually and I walk around the room and I see who, who's really not saying anything. We can't do that because we can't read together because of the timing. There's a delay over Zoom. And it's interesting. I have, I, because I have listened a little bit to the other class and they do read together. Really? How you does should it listen work? once and just put it on for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Thank you. How does it work? I, I, it seemed to be okay, but I wasn't like really paying that much attention. I was just curious to see where they were once. Okay. Thank you for that piece of advice. Um, I'll think about it. Thank I don't you. Know if that would be advantageous or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But the thing is, if we're going to have eight more students, how are we going to individually read? That's the other problem. Well, I'm going to think about it. So thank you for the tip. And I'll think about how to do all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Back to the other Carol. <laughs> okay. So we are online. Uh, I think we were on line four. And I think, Harriet, I asked you to read. Um, Lish, Lish, Coat. Right. Only remember it's Leash Coat. Leash Coat. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Can I be finished? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> the next word. <laughs> next um, one's easy. Okay. Okay, so that's a, the hard, it's like a hard C in, like in Carol, oh. and it's an E, key. Yeah, so key, okay. Key. Ta. Okay, so that's the v, the other V sound, key oh. va. Key va. Mm -hmm. The thing is the first word then. Yep. Um, yeah, and I don't think you know the what the next word. I'm not sure we learned that letter yet. Hold on. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. 
The yeah, final well, sip? Okay, sorry. No, I don't think we did. I don't think we did. No. Which letter? The last letter. The next, oh, wait a minute. The last letter of the next word, I don't think we learned no. it yet. That's Partially, not, actually, that's like that's not a, a, a C, though. That's Hold on. A, 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 it's not a C? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop for a sec. The reason I think that is because, yeah, I on page oh, yeah, it's on page it's on page fifty four. And as I've said before, they didn't consult me when they wrote this book. Okay, let me let me show you something. Oh, I guess I remembered C Z. Yeah, it is. It's a. I guess right too. Okay, so basically, all of the the final letters always look like a little bit like the not final letters as if the the piece gets straightened out. So let me show you. I'm going to draw it as soon as I find the blank page. OK, here we go. Found the blank page. So of course, this, the pen bleeds through. OK, so we've already learned this letter here. which is, comes at the beginning or middle of a word and it's the tss sound, tss. Okay, now if we, if we were to take this piece here and straighten it out, we get something that would look something like this, which is the tss at the end of the word. My drawing is not all that terrific, but that's the end of that last word on the first half of line four, which that word is ha-a-retz. <laughs> okay. Thank you for doing it for me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, line five, we are up to Andrea. Please. Um, Yishpo, Yishpot? Yep. Um, Tevel? Yep. Bizedek? Yes, only remember that that, that letter is like uh, not Z, but S. Oh, Bizedek? Biz, biz, Zedek. Zedek. T S. Okay, Zedek. Bizedek. Yeah. The Amim. The Amutato. Almost. So be, we have Be. Be. Uh, be uh -uh. Eh. Yeah. Be. be eh. Tu. Va. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, Va. Hold on. Stop. Yep. <laughs> okay. So now what we have to do is distinguish between two letters. One letter looks like a mountain. And one letter has a tear on the top. Which one is this? Oh, that's the, the M. That's that's the mountain. Yeah. Okay. So be be e mu yes na to yes. Very nice. Thank okay. you. Can you put that all together? <laughs> Should we? Uh, what be -e mu nato? Yeah, just wanted you to say it more fluently. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, line six, Eileen. Okay. Two. Yeah. Uh, they knew. No, that's the final. That's the final nun, right? No, that's the final ha. Huh. Huh. Okay, here. Okay. That, that's the final hub with an ah in it. Right. Okay. To. Hey, new. No. Okay, remember. Um, all right, where are we? We're on line six, right? Yes. So that has so, the ah sound at the end. Right. So he, hold on one sec. I want to find something. I wrote out all the final letters somewhere, but 
I'll do them again since I can't find them. It's okay. Okay. That's Someday just... we'll get organized. Ooh. Okay, here are the final letters that we've learned so far. This one is the N. It's kind of plain and simple. Right. This is the F at the end, and there's never be a P at the end of a Hebrew word. Yeah. It's always F, so you'll never have stop, but you could have tough. This letter at the end, this is the final H at the end, and it will always have a vowel associated with it. So this would be the final letter in the a word such as Baruch. Okay, so it's ha. And sometimes it has a ha in it. And so it would be ha at the end. So in this case, we have tu ve ha. Tu ve ha. Yeah. Excuse me, if you guys want to look on page 67, it's helpful to see what final letter it goes with. And it kind of shows you that. What page? 67. Thank you. Because I couldn't remember which ones went with what. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so let me see. Eileen, you were reading, right? Right. Okay. Let me just get back to. Uh, so the second half of the line, please. I just want to make sure it's the same. It looks like it. So that's a shin. And a Except sin. it's that's remember the dots on the left, so it's a sin. Yeah, that's what I said. Shin and sin, so it's a sin. Yeah. Um, and sob. So, no, it's it's a, yep. it's a letter, so it's. You're right. You were right. Okay, sob. Okay, say no. Okay, except that one's the uh, silent one, the second silent one. Okay. So it becomes sub a new. Sub. Okay. A new. Yep. Okay. Meet u tenu. It's the same word as you had before almost. So it's me so. to. Me too. <laughs> me, okay, me too. And then, hey, hey, how? Almost. That's a V, that's the vet, the V sound. Me too, ve, ha. Do you see that? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Maureen, line seven, please. Ah, uh, Tahir. Yep. That's a Tahir. Yeah, Tahir. Yeah. The Tahir. Yep. Ivenu. Leav. Leav. The. Now I gotta remember if the dots go with it or with it. Le ah uh, the yeah. Mm -mm. You were right the first you were more right the first time. Le mm -hmm. of the of de de ha de like an I in it. And it's it's going with why is the the vet going with the I think it's an I in. Yes, it is. Okay, because when you have Two letters next to each other, both of which have the schwa underneath. The first one is the end of the first syllable. The second one is the beginning of the second syllable. Okay. So, le av decha. Yes. Be -e met. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Lori, line eight. Please. 
O T. Okay, remember sometimes the um, O is just a dot, but it's over. Toe, toe? Yeah. So top, oat, so yes. Yeah, uh, what, what was the end of that? Cho-cha-boat, cho cho Yeah. Cho-cha-boat, yep. cho cho okay. twice. Yes. Okay, so in that line, the word to tough foat is written twice to show you there are two different ways one could write it. With the whole complete O vowel or just the dot on top. Okay, do you see the difference? Is one way more common than the other in general? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I actually don't know. Okay, just curious. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I have a quick, and, yes, a quick question. Yeah, uh, sure. Number six word or whatever. One, two, three. Can you pronounce that, please? Is it sob or sob? Okay, it's sob. 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 Anu. Sob. S A B together. Sob. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And Nancy, line nine, please. Uh, ta, batanu. Okay, the first, okay, so first we have the V. Uh-uh, that next letter has a hole in it. So what is it? The ha. Ha, like, a, like an H. Vahenu. Vahenu. Nope, it's got the, there's no N in that word. So we have V, ha, ha, nu. You. You. Vahanu. Nope, there's no N. I'm singing. <laughs> you might. I don't think I'm. The. Ha nu. The ha you. You oh the ha you oh that's right. The ha you. Ooh. I keep hearing an n. There's no n. Okay. I was saying o oh, oh, instead of ooh, but okay. I'm still getting it wrong. <laughs> La. Ta. O. o Almost. Cover the parts of the word you don't need so that you can, you know, slowly sound it out. So you have the li, t, u, to, dot is over, makes it an o. To, to, te, ta, ta, boat. Yes. Yeah. Bain. Yep. Uh, a. A, a, a. It's right. A. Na name. Home. Almost. It's a. Ne chem. Ne chem. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. What is this last word? A. Ne. Chem. Okay. okay. I have a and, question. I'm so yep. sorry. Didn't no. I'm going no. back to number six, that third word. The yep. reason that it's sob and not sabo, I guess you wouldn't say sabo. What is the reason just for future words? It's, more the, it's the end of the syllable. You know it's the end of the syllable. Well, you know that there's a b, but it has to go together because it's, you know it's one syllable? Yes, because it's the the schwa in the middle of a word standing all by itself always is under the letter that ends the syllable. You can pretty much bet and, on that. And it's in the middle, so you know it's silent right there because yeah. it's in the middle. But but yeah. it just tells you since there's that shava that that's the end of that syllable that it goes together. Yeah. Right. Okay, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Carol, what's the schwa? Just the first oh. letter? No, that's the two dots underneath the... So in line number six, we have... Okay. Two, two vecha, and then the next word, sab, enu. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, at the bottom of this page, there are three columns. And in those three columns, 
we have the three different T sounds and it shows you words that are made, are spelled with those different T sounds. So I'll leave that for you folks to read on your own since I want to proceed. If we weren't starting a new class on Friday, I, I would spend more time, but I need to move. Okay. Um, I want to go to page number 50. Yes. Page 50. Okay. We're learning yet another S as in silly, another S sound. This letter, which is called a samich, looks like a circle. So think of the think of a circle, even though circle is spelled with a C, it's the it is the S sound. So think of circle. Can I ask a question? Sure. How do you remember? You know, the shin has the dot on the right and the sin has the dot on the left. How do I okay. remember? Because you, so remember this phrase, she, she is always right. That was it. Okay. Right. She was always right. Okay. Right. And, and sin is short for sinestra and, or sinister and sinister uh, is, a sinestra I think is Latin for left. Something sinister well, was always on the left. Gone. Then I'm good. <laughs> okay. She is always right. She is always right. Just remember that. Yep. Can you imagine when I'm teaching a class that has guys in it? And I, I always say she is always right. I always say, guys, I'm sorry, but she's always right. <laughs> you bet. Okay. Okay. So here, here's this letter that sounds like an S. Now, it can come anywhere in a word. Now, we have already learned a letter that looks similar. And that's this letter. It looks more like a box. This letter is the final M sound. Right. Like in a word, like comb, if it were to, you know, spelled differently okay. or uh, hum like hum that's the final m sound okay. so my point is the following if you see this which looks like this but if you see it in the middle of a word or the beginning of a word you do not have to think it can only be the s sound because this will never be in the beginning or the middle so really the only time you have to think is when it's at the end of a word. That's the only time they look similar. That's when you have to think is if it's at the end. In fact, a couple uh, last week, I think it was, I chanted the Haftarah for uh, Shabbat and there was a word in it. And I was looking at it on the copy I had, and I said to myself, what's that word? What's the last letter? Is it an M or is it the S? And so I couldn't tell by the copy I had. I looked at three other references to confirm that it really was what the word was. I forgot what it was already, but I, was, I checked many, many different sources to get a clear idea in my head as to what it was. But, but as I said, only at the end do you have to think, okay? So having said that, let's go to page number 50, line number, uh, okay, line number one. And I think Janie walked away with her dog, so Gail. So it's C, 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 C. Yes, very nice. Um, Line number two, Harriet, please. Harriet's muted. Harriet's muted. 
<laughs> okay. Se, so, so. Okay, the next one. No, no, the one with the dot in the middle is. Ooh. Ooh. Two, sorry. Yep. Ooh. Uh, se, se. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to mute so you don't hear the phone? But then I can't. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, it'll stop now. Oh, no. It'll ring twice more. <laughs> it's a spam anyway. Okay. Sinula. Uh, Almost. That one has the, that letter has a gap in it. So it's the G. So we have. Gula. Yeah. Sigula. Yep. Sounds like a dirty word. <laughs> it's not. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Sof. Yes. Good. So. Sue. Yep. Nis. Is it Nis or is it Niso? Okay, so it's Ni. Niso, right? It's Niso. Ooh. Ni. It's the O again. Ni. Su. Ha. Ha. Ni. Su. Ha. Oh. Oh, no, that's the end. Okay, thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, oh, Janie, we skipped you. How about line three? Okay. Segula. Yep. Um. Segula. Yep. Well, that was too easy. Right. So you can do four <laughs> as well. <laughs> I need. I need it. <laughs> four. Uh. So sof. Yep. Sof. Ma uh, say, yeah. Sof, ma uh, say. Bima has Shabbat, not not Shabbat. No, but no Shabbat. 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 Right. Bima has Shabbat. Shabbat. Right. Okay. Um. Tehila. Yes, very nice. Um, Andrea, line number five. Nisuka. Mm hmm. May ro may ro mm. may mm -hmm. ro Yes, nice. Okay. <laughs> Me karem. Uh-uh, that's a duh. Oh, is that? I couldn't tell. Okay. Yeah. Me ked dem. Yes. Nisukha. Yes, very nice. This is all from Lacha Dodi, by the way. I Up until a, this point. I have a... Yep. Question, Maureen? Maureen's muted. Maureen, you got muted. <laughs> Can't remember which is which. Okay, the second word, no. May, yeah. The may rosh? Right, so the resh has the o vowel. Yep. The owl has the o vowel for the shin? No, the aleph is, there, is totally silent. Okay, so here we go. Good, I'm glad you picked this up. I think you've heard me say there are only two things that are 100% you can count on. Death and taxes. Every other rule... There's always that little tiny percent, that tiny, tiny, tiny percent where it's an exception to the rule. Here's one of them. The word Rosh, which means head, as in Rosh Hashanah, this is how you spell it. It's kind of an exception that every letter has to have a vowel. This is one, that's, this is the exception to that particular rule. Okay. All right, line six, let me see. Um, I think, Andrea, did you just read, I think? 
Yes, I did. Okay, I say I go by the, the boxes. So that's how it is on my screen. So um, Eileen, nine six, please. Line six, okay. I am blanking out on the first letter. All right, that's that letter is nice and neat. So it's, it's, the, it's the nun, yep. That's what I thought, and I'm thinking, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Nimish? Nope, so now, remember what I just said? We've got ni. Me, me, no, see. -uh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember what I said, the thing right, that's, 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 the, that's the shin, that's the sonic. Right. Me. No, so it's knee. Knee, see. Yes, knee, see. Knee, see. Ma, knees. No, ma, okay. ma, nose. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now, do I pronounce the vowel? Yes, there's a dot, there are two right. dots underneath it. Okay, so the two dots, it's like I. Yep. Okay. Nai, who? So it, all right, so it's like the I in it, so it's an I. Ne, the, ha, the, who. Okay, so the who. The who. Yep. Nee, see? Yes. Yay, got one. <laughs> Uma. Noose. Amanos. Oh, Manos, yes. Umanos and. Do, do, do. Lee? Yes, very nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, Maureen, seven. Kosi, Ninat, Kosi. Right, very nice. Um, Lori, line eight. Two bar. Okay, line eight. It's not Sue. Yeah, it is. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Two bar. So no, that's the backward C. Suka? Yeah. Suka. Suka. Hapo Resh. All right. The, it's on the left, so it's sinister. It's on uh, Hapo Res. Yes. Suka. Sukat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're right. Um, always. <laughs> um, shalom. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, because I'm anxious to finish this so we can start afresh. Page 54, we just learned that the TZ at the end. Okay, skip ahead to 54, please. We just learned that. That's the TZ sound, the TZ at the end, like in the word Eretz. And I am looking through. Hold on. Okay, we only have one more thing to learn. And this will be, I know, very confusing. And I apologize in advance. I want to come back to 54, but I want to go ahead to 60 something. To 60, I think it says. 60. 60. To 60. Okay, so here, this is a major exception. Now. We've, we learned last time that this letter here, whoops, where did I write it? This letter here, 
this nice big letter, I just wrote it, cover up this, that that's the H. Huh. It's used in words like Hanukkah, Hala, that's this word here, or Chaim, like the song from Fiddler, L'chaim, that's this letter, H. Huh. Um, hold on, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So that's the H. Huh. Now, if it appears at the end of a word with the straight line vowel underneath it, only, only at the end, only looking like this, okay? At the end like that, only, 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 only. The only exception, you would not say ha, huh, you would say ah. Uh. For example, the guy who built the ark. Who's the guy who built the ark? Noah. 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 And this is how, and this is how you write his name. I'll go write it out. And um, people say that that's a, a name that you can misspell seven ways. So you pronounce the vowel and then the letter. Ah. Right. It's the so that's that's the guy who built the ark. Noah. Noah. Okay. Noah. That Noah. so this is the only exception to pronouncing the letter and the vowel, the letter first and the vowel. This is the only exception, and it's only at the end of a word. Something like yeah. Noah. Why don't but, I just use the final huh? You know, why do they spell the word laugh, L-A-U-G-H? Okay. All right, that's the answer to that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> right. You know, there are questions for which there really aren't any good answers. So on page number six, 60, we have, we've got all oh, good. We have some... Um, Nancy, I'm up to you. Line one, please. Hey, last. Okay, so remember the straight stick across is like this orange stick they use to look at your tonsils, and it's yeah. like an ah. Uh. How ah? Uh. Yep. Oh, na. Hana, like Hana. Hannah. Hana, Hana. yep. Now, how? Yeah. Be, be. Almost. Ba. Be, ba. 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 Ha. Har. Ba. Ha. Ba. Ha. Yeah. Okay. We're going to read. Let me see. Time. Okay. We're going to read one more line. Who wants to volunteer? I'll do it. Okay. Gail. Line two. I think I may be off, but I might be sorry. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, ho koach. Yep. Nice. Ha me ha me ha me ni ach. Yep. Uh, u me ni uh, ach. Right. And then um, nach. Nope. That's our oh. friend. Uh, wait. The last one's no. No. Noah. No. Noah. 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 Right. Noah. 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 Right. Can, the the, can you say the last three again? I'm sorry, you went very fast. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll, read the, wait a minute. I'll read the whole line. I'll read the whole line. Le sha be ach. Ko ach. Ha me ni ach. U me ni ach no ach. We did it. See you Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So basically, we have finished this class. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Um, you will be getting certificates. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether they're mailing them, emailing them. I don't know. They're, they're, supposed, they're making certificates. <laughs> so just to let you know. Yes, uh, Lori. Oh, you, uh, I didn't want to interrupt. I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, you guys had talked earlier about next time with the new class saying everything all together at once. And I just wanted, do we get to vote on that? <laughs> and we don't know what we're doing. Let that. me tell you okay, why. Wait. Let me uh, tell you why. Because I sat in on a class. I'm sorry, Carol, go ahead. No, no go ahead. No, go I ahead. I sat in on a class. Yes, I've sat in on other Hebrew classes um, years before this. It's a waste of time in my, this is just my humble opinion for my one experience, because if everyone says it, number one, you cannot hear. And number two, you're not really concentrating while they're doing it. And I don't care how many people are in the class, really, if someone else is saying it, I'm still concentrating on that line. That's just my opinion. Okay. But the other part of who's saying it right and who's saying it wrong. Right. That's the other thing. But the other problem is with so many people, we're not going to have time to even do a line each. Personally, Except think you, we'll except get you don't know that, uh, Maureen. I think we'll get a line each. And I think what I do is I mute myself and I'm saying the words oh, as you guys are saying it. And no one hears me. And if I'm wrong, I hear you. And if I'm right, I hear me. And I, right. I you can still hear me. and you're still concentrating the same way. It doesn't matter how many people, but as long as you say it separately. You every single line yeah. by yourself, but you're hearing the correct response. I yeah. agree with Lori, because you could hear what's right or wrong. Yeah. You're correcting yeah. them. If everyone. Like the... Okay. So here's my... we can try it. Okay. My opinion is this. I basically agree with Lori. And here's why. If I were standing in front of a classroom, even if there were 20 people in the classroom, I, if I, I there basically will know the material that I'm asking you to read. And so I can watch people's mouths. I can see that this one isn't, um, hi artists, that th we're almost done. Anyways, I can see that this one isn't saying anything or that this one may be mispronouncing something. There's a visual that goes along with the hearing. On Zoom, right now, uh, my screen just shifted. That's how I knew somebody came in. And so there are now 10 on my screen because I use an iPad. The most I can get on the iPad is 16. And if there's more than 16 people, I, uh, and I'm one of those 16, and I can't keep moving back and forth to see who might be saying something or not saying something. So I'm going to continue the way I've been doing it with people reading individually. If it if it looks like um, we don't have enough lines on the page or whatever, I'll split a line in half. I'll say, okay, Janie, you read the first three words. Gail, you read the second three words or however it's going to work out. You, you know, a lot of this is a little bit trial by error. I had never taught this particular course before. I had taught beginning reading Hebrew from a different course book in the past. I've never taught this second course before, but I don't think that should be a problem. We'll just all learn together. And, uh, you know, if at the end of the class or after the class, you want to send me an email or you want to, you know, call me or whatever and say, Carol, I don't think that worked. I'm open to that, you know? And uh, so whatever works, I want to do what's going to work for all of, for all of you. Thank you. One Thank more you. thing. Someone said goodbye. See you Friday to remind you we're tomorrow we're meeting at 420. I oh, put, yes. Oh, yes. I knew that. I set it up for 420. It actually officially says 430, but we've never had trouble getting in early. You can only okay. set it up on the half hour. So I'm okay. still expecting 420. I did, okay, thank you. Um, I appreciate it, Maureen. I did not realize I have a 445 meeting, but I will come on and be with you as long as I can. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. might not be able to and, come now because I have a, a grandchild with a runny nose, which means she can't go to daycare. So I, oh. goes on. I wish we'll I had that problem. <laughs> so um, let me see. So Harriet had reached out to me because I had originally said Wednesday wasn't good. And um, and as I explained to, to Harriet, I had signed up for a Zoom webinar that starts at four o'clock on tomorrow. But I fully expect that the webinar will be recorded so I can listen to it at another time. So oh. I will be joining you. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So um, and as I said in my email to Harriet, um, basically, I'm a social animal. And so if the word social is part of it. It's like I'm there. 
What can I say? <laughs> well, then that means a glass of wine goes with it. <laughs> you are, I guess, you know, if you like wine, I don't particularly like wine, so. A it's cocktail, really funny. how's that? Uh, with, I have my, uh, my iced tea. Um, Whatever works. One Friday night on our services, uh, my cancer, you know, she's rotating who recites Kiddush at the end. And so she said to, she said, Carol, how about you? And I said, well, I might like to, but I have nothing over which to say Kiddush because I absolutely, I don't particularly like wine and I abhor grape juice. <laughs> so it's like none of those exist in my house. <laughs> Nancy, did you have a question or are you just raising your hand? I think she's on the phone. On the phone. She's on the phone and I think playing with her hair, which I get. <laughs> so, um, um, artists. The uh, Zoom class for tomorrow, is, which uh, is a new Zoom uh, link going to be sent out? Okay, so tomorrow is our social get together. A Zoom link was sent by Maureen. That's at 420. I can send it out again to everyone. So okay. To With regard to Friday, I expect a new, I actually don't know whether there'll be a new Zoom link or not, but I will, oh. it, I will inquire. And if I get a, whatever I find out as an answer, I will let you know. Did you say, are we getting a new book or did you say at the beginning what we're reading Friday? Okay. So uh, we were, we are going to begin with um, the Friday night service so that you can put everything we've learned into practice. Now, the people joining us will not have this textbook, so they may be using a CDOR. But if you look at this textbook, which I know some of you have a book book, I have it all in a, in a, a, a three ring binder. But if you look at where we sort of left off, um, we have some of the uh, the songs and the prayers and whatever that are part of the Friday night and uh, Shabbat morning service. So, for example, today we a lot of the lines we were reading ha came from Lecha Dodi, which is that in my mind very much Friday night. Yeah. So we'll so, we'll I will either be using um, this book or a Cedar or some combination. Okay, thanks. Or, you had mentioned that up front. Thanks. Yeah, or I'll make a picture and send it to you. So it could be any one of the above. All right, ladies, I have another Zoom to go to when I have to set it up. <laughs> okay. We'll see some of you tomorrow. Am I correct? Socially tomorrow? Yep. 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 Correct. Okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good one. Too. So, artists, artists, yes. do you want me to uh, quickly review what we reviewed today? You just started at one o'clock, didn't I mean, uh, didn't you just start? We started it an hour ago. We started an hour and 10 minutes ago. It's 2.09. It's 2.09. What, are you in a different time zone? Yeah, we're in Central Standard uh, Time. Yeah. Yes. I, had it, I had it down as uh, one o'clock. Yeah, it was one o'clock Eastern. I apologize if, I may, if that wasn't clear. I'm sorry. I, I forget that everybody doesn't live where I live. Okay. Um, well, if if you if the rest of the group wants to go, that's fine. If you just want to go over it really, really quickly, that's yeah, fine. I, and yeah, I, I can. I just assumed when I when I saw the time before that it was an hour, you know, difference. But okay. Yeah. One um, one thing I gotta say, we have the link, by the way, for the Friday class. Oh, we do. Oh, good. We do, like, when we when we got our thing welcoming us to the advanced beginner from Julie. She sent a link uh, for starting oh, February 5th. So I hear that's in your email somewhere. I, I put it in a file, but yeah, it's I, there. I have that and email, but mine doesn't have a link to it. Just like welcome. Well, it says welcome. And then if you keep going, it says, please, please use this Zoom link each week for the class. Oh, then that's a different email. I'll check. Oh. Okay. I have it from January 17th where she says that. So that must be it. That must be it. January yeah. 17th, right. Okay. okay, I'll have to check mine. It's at 115, so my time 1215. 
and artists your time I, I think most times when they send out they just assume everybody it's eastern standard time and then you adjust yeah yeah so um, you're right that is what we assume uh, otherwise, uh, if you had that email that had the link on from the 17th of January, maybe you could just send it to Carol and Carol could send it out unless you have all of our email addresses. Um, I have all your email addresses. Okay. I can send it out. Okay. That would be um, helpful. Thank you. Okay. Except I have to write this down. Otherwise, it won't happen. I might have it somewhere. A friend of mine um, used to uh, say... If it's not on the list, it doesn't exist. So, okay, so send new class link. All right, right. something that reminded you about the time, I'm sorry. I'm central time too, as you know, and it is confusing sometimes. I guess probably it should be said, you know, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yes, and, but I never think about that. I really am sorry, my bad. All right, put it on the list. So now it exists. So artists, if you want to spend a few minutes, yeah, ten that, or would be, that would be fine. That would yeah. be great. Right. All right. Okay. Can okay. we stay if we want? I'm happy to stay for the review too, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. I'm just, I'm double checking. I know I have nothing else to do here. Hang on. Um, I'm just looking at my calendar. Next thing is at 3.30. So I got plenty of time. I'm going to sign off. Thank you, Carol. See you. You're welcome. My tomorrow. pleasure. See you More tomorrow. Things. Hoping to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 All right. And I think I'll stay too, because I certainly need it. Okay. So artists, after answering a few questions, we started on page number 46. And we learned a new letter. And that letter... I will hold up my attempt at drawing it. Looks like this, more or less. And notice it is torn at the top. It has a tear on the top for T. This is another T. So as people have pointed out, and which is at the bottom of the page, we have three T sounds. And at the bottom of page 46, it shows you the words and how they're spelled with the three different T sounds. Okay. So in, right. in particular, you would see this is the way you spell, um, take a look at line number um, 11. 11. 11, yeah. That first word there. Does it make a difference uh, in most cases where, uh, which form they're using, if it's the beginning of a sentence or the end of a sentence or whatever? No, no difference. It's, oh. it'll be, it's the same all the way through. So okay. that's line number 11 under the letter that looks like this, that word is? Talib. Right, Talib. Yep, that's how you spell that. Yep. Okay, why don't you read uh, the, in that column, those four words, please. Okay, uh, Talib, uh, let's see, to, to food? Okay, almost. To ta to 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 Ha, ra. Ha, ha, ra. Okay. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, this letter looks like the M sound. Let me find my marker. Wait one sec. People sometimes mix these two up. But the difference is this one looks like a mountain. So it's an M. And this has the tear on top. And that's the T. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how to distinguish them. Okay. Then we went to page number um, 50 and learned 
this letter that looks like, let me, let me cover up what we don't need. This letter here that looks like a circle. So think of, think of the word circle. It's got this, that's an S sound. Okay. Now, it looks similar to the other one, but where the this dot is one. on the, the right. Oh, okay. Now this baby, the one that down here on, on top of my thumb, that's an M at the end of a word. Oh. Like hum or bum. Okay. If you see this letter, they look similar, but if you see the letter in the beginning or the middle of the word, it can only be the S sound. It can only be S. You don't have to think. It can only be S. At the end of a word, it could be this or it could be this. So the really, the only time you have to think is when it appears at the end of the word. You have to, you have to almost pause and in your head say, hmm, is that M as in hum? Or is it S as in hus? Do you follow me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So that was what was on page number 50. Okay. So what did you do on page uh, 49 and 48? Did you just practice reading? No, we skipped those because oh. I was, we didn't practice reading on those pages because I was anxious to finish. Oh, I Because see. we're starting okay. the new semester. That's why we had to meet today. We're starting the new semester on Friday uh, and that's it, okay. has to be. That's fine. Okay. Then the other thing we did was, okay, we did another final letter. Let me find it. Um, I write these things out. I never can find them again, which is fine. Doesn't matter. Carol, page 54. Page 54? Yes. Yes, that's where I am. Thank you. Um, um, hang on a minute. I wanted to find, I drew something. I no longer have it. It's fine. I'll redraw it. It's, it's good. Everything's good. Find my marker. Okay, we already learned this letter here, artist, which is a s sound. Okay. And that's at the beginning or the middle of a word. Now, if I were to take this bottom piece and straighten it out, I would get something that more or less looks like this, kind of, kind of, sort of, maybe, not really. But that is the tsa at the end of a word, okay. such as the word eretz or eights. So take a crack at the first line on page 54. Uh, eight, how many? Uh, eret, eretz. Eretz, yep. Perfect. So that's that. We learned that. And we learned one other thing only. And it's an exception to the rule. Okay, so the rule. The rule is you see a letter, you pronounce it, and then you add the vowel. So you pronounce low or mo or some other thing. The one exception is the letter that looks like this, so this letter here, that's the ch sound. That's the letter that's used to spell words like challah or Hanukkah. And if that letter comes at the end of a word with the ah sound underneath it, uh -huh. It's reversed. It goes, it's ah and not ha. It's ah. Oh, okay. All right. That's interesting. So that's really the only kind of complicated thing we learn because. Oh. See this guy? See this? Uh huh. 
That's the guy who built the ark. Oh, Noah. Okay, Noah. Yeah. Noah. Oh. In English, it's written as Noah, but it's Noah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and that's what we learned. Okay. I had actually gone over some of the material going up to, I think, page 49. Okay. And then I, I stopped. So this is fine. I'm, I'm comfortable with, with where we are right now. Okay, good. Excellent. So uh, we talked a little bit at the beginning about we're starting the new class on Friday. We'll be going over the Friday night services, um, like blessings over the candles, bless the kiddush, the wine, some of the liturgy. Um, there's no curriculum per se, but there's a list of things that we hope to, to um, cover. And uh, there'll be more students. And somebody asked the question, well, what if they're more advanced or whatever? The, the point is that people self-placed themselves. And somebody could come to the class and say, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought I was an advanced beginner, but I guess I forgot everything I once knew. I mean, that could happen, or somebody could be even more advanced than that. We'll just roll. You know, we'll roll with whatever happens. Okay. And if somebody feels they've been misplaced, they can go back to Julia and say, I think I'm in the wrong place. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh huh. Great. So, so are we done with, uh, now we're done with all the letters. There are what, 24 letters? Yes. Uh, are there 24 or 22? I don't remember what I said. Hold on. I have another book. It says at the beginning. One second. I'll tell you in a minute. 22. 22. Okay. There are 22 letters, all of which are consonants. And the vowels are the dots and dashes, mostly underneath the letter, sometimes alongside, adjacent. And there are five Hebrew letters that have a different form at the end of the word. And the, the thing about Hebrew is that it's consistent, meaning if a letter is supposed to be F, it's F. You don't have funny things like in English, the word laugh, G-H is F. The word phone, P-H is F. The word funny, F is F. How do you know? I mean, if someone were, if you were learning English brand new and someone asked you to spell, how would you know which of those combinations you were going to use? I have no idea, frankly. You know, we grew up with it, so we know. But Hebrew is easy. If it's supposed to be an F, it's the letter that looks like the F sound, the featureless face. So that makes Hebrew a little bit easier, maybe. Can we I have to ask you one other question that has nothing to do with Hebrew. Uh, we just got a new camera uh, yesterday. So how do you see my picture? Do you see it clearly and yeah. whatever? Okay. Yeah, aces. Okay. Looks very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody have any other questions? And by the way, I'll repeat, as I've said before, you can call me at any, you can call me or email me at any time. Uh, frankly, I'm, I mean, I have Zoom stuff all the time. I'm doing a lot of stuff, but I'm not, you know, it's like, it's different. It's different than when I was working or when I was retired and not, and just had lots and lots of stuff I was doing. I'm not doing. So. Um, could you do some, something for me on the bottom of page 54? Could yep. you read that line? I, I, I've gone over it, but I just want to make sure that my pronunciation is better. Okay, wait a minute. 54, which, now which line are we talking about? 12, down at the bottom. 12. Okay. Tr uh, tr okay, that's, uh, oh, all right. That's the. That comes uh, before the kidu before kiddush on Friday night. Why don't you try reading it? Um, kiddushet, um, yamim, aisha adonai, et has has man mayim, the et ha haaret. Okay, pretty much okay. So it's et hashamayim. You got that right. The et, and the last word is ha a uh, retz. Uh, okay. Ha a uh, retz. 
Okay. All right. And the third word? The third word would be yamim? Yep. Okay, thanks. All right, that comes right before Kiddush on uh, Friday night, uh, basically saying that in six days, God um, made the heavens and the earth. That is what that says, by the way. Okay. <laughs>